black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Well, well, well. What up, world? Welcome to another one. Back with a uh, Mick smash today. Can't wait. Uh, I'm very about the food. I'm in a food mood. So let's just hop right in. Okay, so I got a couple of hash browns. I have a sausage and egg McMuffin. Threw in a little breakfast twist in there, but I also have a junior chicken and two McDoubles. And I want to create like a weird monstrosity burger as well. We must make our chefing area here. Our Frankenstein area, if you will. So on these, I got them to add lettuce and tomato. I always get a little extra goodies on the... Uh, on the bergs, the move here is this. I wanted to do this. We remove one bun and we make it just gangster. Like a supreme, more supreme style Big Mac made out of double cheesies. I'm super excited to just get a bite of this thing. I just wanna get in here to be straight, truthful and honest. Chefed up my own mac sauce. Kind of looks more like an in and out style burger, I'd say. Mm hmm. That's what I came for today in this video. I'm ready to eat some food. I'm stoked on the food today. That's really what's happening. There you go. A peek inside for you. And a nice saucy bite for me. Not too saucy though, just enough. I'm trying to respect what Quantran says. When you bite your burger, mean it. He has a mean bite on a burger. But today I'm certainly in that mode of mean it. Keep that shit saucy. Shout out Sauce Queen. This is so good. Very moist. A lot of like nice and juicy. I like it. So yeah, was well, Canadian Thanksgiving. It's been a weekend. Multiple family dinners. I did the bean boozle thing with my sister, which was hilarious. She uh, she killed it on camera, I think. Well, I know because you guys said in the comments like. how good her vibe was, how good our vibe was. People like want to see more videos with her in it, her and I. So maybe you know maybe every two weeks or something like that. A couple videos a month. Her and I can do some stuff. Um, I feel like it would be fun to do like challenges though with her, like the same thing, like the bean boozled, like doing more like those, like kind of fun, like 
intense interactive like experiences rather than just doing a mukbang together because um, she actually oddly enough like those who have ASMR on the opposite side of ASMR is a thing called misophonia and that's when you can't stand the sound of like people chewing and mouth noises and stuff and she has misophonia She's like triggered by chewing and eating noises in a bad way. So I don't know, I don't know exactly how into an eating video she would be. Also, shout out Monopoly season. Gotta see if we have a winner of some sort. Nope. Nope. Nothing free. Nothing free in this life, eh? Okay. We're gonna take it up a little notch here. And we're gonna half a brown. A half brown. And I've never had... Should I do max sauce on this? Yeah, why not? We're just throwing Hail Marys here today. Why not? Let's give it a go. Looks good though. Nice little level, little sandy right there. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's good. That works. That's rich. Very rich. Sausage, egg, and cheese. Hash brown. Mayo based sauce. I'm keeping it with a water today for whatever reason, but actually, I know exactly why. Uh, my case of Diet Dr. Pepper is, is out. <laughs> so I got to re up. That's exactly why. Mm hmm. So, yeah. That was fun with my sister, but it's been a long weekend. And today's one of those days where it's like, I'm going to let myself guilt free eat some bullshit. And then lay about and guilt free indulge in any sort of mindless drivel on YouTube whatever I want and not give an ounce of energy to caring about chores or optimizing stuff for like my channel worrying about anything like that just a sweatpants day you know they are such good days when you just allow yourself at them if you completely commit to the carefree like I'm just living disgusting today give myself the one nice day of it and then tomorrow I'm back on my shit you know We all need those days. You owe it to yourself to sometimes just stop and forget about everything else and just allow yourself to be indulge in just your guilty pleasures and live in the moment of non-care and just not think about shit.
therapy days. That said, though, don't do too many and don't make a habit out of it. Because then that's where your shit just gets, you're just off, off course at that point. You're like, a week goes by and you're just being trash. It's like, can't do that. Okay. Ooh, yeah. A big old flurry. Mmm. Wow. The flurries are so good. Incredibly good. Wow. I'm trying to get on this big bites vibe. There's something very enjoyable about it. And not being too birdie about it. Mm. I haven't had a good sweet, like a nice ice cream like that in a while. I often remind myself, like, I forget, and then I have it, and I'm like, oh yeah, this is good. The good thing about a McFlurry is that it's like, it's the perfect amount of, like, sweet, though. It's like, it's not overwhelming. Like, it's not too rich. You can eat one, and it's just nice. Crushed. You didn't stand a chance, boy. Okay, well, those aren't happening because that was enough food. Um, snack later, though, probably. All right, well, that video was all over the map. But uh, the eating part of it was uh, probably pretty enjoyable. At least for me, it was definitely. But I feel like this is pretty satisfying moments in there. So until the next one, y'all know what to do. Eat good, live well, stay true.